what's going on, bro? Thanks for coming to the video. All right, we're gonna make this short and simple. I moved into a new apartment. Um, I needed more space, okay? I wanted to be able to create. I wanted to be able to breathe. I wanted to be able to have some space. And I felt like the last spot, even though I loved it, and I think a lot of y'all love the content we made in there, I just felt like the walls was closing in. So I got another spot with a little bit more space. It's gonna remind you of the other one. If you haven't seen my first house tour I did when I moved into my first apartment, make sure y'all check out that video. It'll give you a little background to what you probably need right now. But I'm super excited to give y'all the new house tour because in my opinion, in Jeremy's opinion, I think this is like new and improved and I just want y'all to continue to grow with me, bro. So without further ado, we standing in the living room, nigga. Damn. Alright, so over here, you feel me? This is Ye. Ye, say what's up to Cam. Cam, say what's up to Ye. Come here, come here, come here. Why Adidas drop you and why you out here tweaking, nigga? That's what I like. If I if I met Ye in real life. That's what I would ask. Why are you tweaking? Like, I own your shoes. Like, I might have to toss them, bro, because you're really out here wilding. I should really smack this. So, right, right here, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? This is where I check and see if my fist is valid or not. Right now, I ain't gonna lie, this is an L fit. Would you agree? I'm a, I mean, I'm around the house. I mean, you in a chilling. crib. You in a crib, you so I'll give you a pass. I thought you was gonna, like. Nah, nah, I'll give you a pass. I thought you was gonna glaze a little bit. You feel me? Glaze is crazy. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, wrestling tee, black shorts. You know what I'm saying, Nike slides, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is how a lot of y'all dress when y'all just at the crib. The one reason I love the living room is as y'all can see, bro, it's a lot of natural lighting. Um, Jeremy, can you give like a quick flash of just the windows so they can see, I don't want nobody being weird. You feel me? But it's a lot of windows over there. A lot of windows. Right here, bro, big TV. You know what I'm saying? This is where I watch Donovan Mitchell score 71. You feel me? The only person other than Donovan Mitchell that I know the 71, Jeremy, you know who else scored 71 I know? Me. Okay. You're done. Yeah, what, cause, what? I, cause I only seen you score seven that, one nah, time. So, hold on. So, so if you mean that, but that 71, the one time I seen you score seven, that's a one in the seven yeah, in the same. Hold on, what, what are you insinuating, my brother? Your ass. Fireplace right here, bro. This is where, you know what I'm saying, I keep back relaxed. I think fireplaces is like common. Like, you see how big this couch is, bro? I love this couch. One thing about me, bro, when I'm not creating content, when I'm not like, you know what I'm saying, uh, thinking about what content I'm gonna create, I love watching movies. That's why you see like the popcorn maker over there. You know what I'm saying? I like original popcorn and I like watching TV. So a big TV like this, a big couch to relax on, chill on. I got my little hype beast pillows and whatnot. It just, you know what I'm saying, go back to the vibe of like when you walk inside the crib, you know, that's kind of how you want it to be. And by the way, I kind of wanted to set the tone when you come into the crib, so let me take you to the front so you can get the full experience. So as I told y'all, one of the biggest differences about this crib is the spacing is a lot bigger. And like my last crib, immediately when you walked in, you was in the kitchen. This one kind of got like this hallway tunnel type feel. And I wanted to set the tone as soon as people walk through the door. So you can see like the artwork on the side, you feel me? The artwork on the side, I feel like that kind of set the tone. And then we come into like the actual living room, you feel me? And then that's where you can get like locked in. This is how you know the bathroom is getting big, bro. When you get like the separate tub, you get the tub here, right? And you get the shower here. Come on, man, you know what I'm saying? Main reason, reason number one, why I needed a new spot. I needed more space, okay? I can't even begin to tell y'all like how many sneakers I'm selling right now because the walls is low key closing in on me. A lot of y'all know I got a whole sneaker channel dedicated to only sneaker content. Uh, updating y'all with sneaker news, reviewing shoes that ain't even dropped yet, and even when shoes do drop, I, I review them. Y'all can check that video. Y'all can check that channel out. It's linked down below. But we got a few of clothes. I sold like half of my clothes when I moved in, bro. This, this behind here was full of nothing but my clothes. It is four closets in here full of shoes still. I gotta figure it out. So I got some of my shoes here, a few Yeezys, you know what I'm saying? We got some Jordans. Let's see what we got in here, bro. Let me see what we got in here, bro. Let me see. Bow, look at that. What the P-Ride dunks. Jeremy, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, even though some of this is heat, I don't yeah, really- kinda go with your fit, bro. Do it? Kinda do. Low key? Low key. You would never be my stylist, nigga. You fired, bro. Yeah, that don't know. go with my fit, man. Yeah, let me know. Nah, let me know what it think. This don't go if with my fit, bro. If you take them off right now and throw these on with the shirt, 
It's a W fit, bro. You just, like just, a some, nigga, just, bro. just some, like just some, just just some slight stuff, bro. Just slight, bro. Chat. If y'all agree with Jeremy, let me know down below. If y'all want to see a sneaker collection video, I do it. It'll take a long time, but I'm down to do it if y'all want to see it. This is just like a few of my uh, shoes that's like in the main bedroom. Of course, I got like all my shorts up here when it's summertime. And yeah, bro, I'm just still getting it together though. I'm still getting it together. I wanted to show y'all this because I ain't showed this when we came in originally. This is like my second closet where I keep like all my basketball shoes. So uh, mainly all I hoop in is Puma. So I got Dreamers here. I got Lamellos here. Shout out to Puma because they send most of this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Lamellos. I even got these, which crazy enough, they don't have a name like the Mellow or the Dreamers, but these are the most comfortable. I, I believe these called like the Puma RXOs or RSOs. These is fire. I love Adidas when it comes to lifestyle and fashion. They fell off. Yeah, but they sneakers, they, they basketball off. sneakers. I don't know if y'all ever tried to hoop in a pair of Donovan Mitchells or Trey Youngs or D Roses. But they ain't it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't it. Only Adidas I will hoop in. The Gilbert Arenas joints, man. That Asian Gil. See, that's how we getting down. Uh, uh, uh. We getting down. Uh, uh. We getting down. To hit up Jay Jones right now because he know I'm 85% Gil, bro. What'd they say right here? Let me know, Jeremy. Zoom in on that, bro. What'd that say? What'd that say? Habichi. Hibachi. 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 Who you calling the Habich? All right, right here is where I keep like majority of just like sentimental things to me. This might like a bunch of junk to y'all, but all this means something to me. This right here is like a uh, package I got from Bleach Report. I have my own show on Bleach Report called Did You Cop with me and my boy Unbreakable Kicks. Who knows, bro? We still might be able to do something in season three or revamp season two. So that's still out there. That's an option. Right here is the first ever Adidas package they ever sent me. As y'all can see, it got my name on it. I thought that was cool. Me being from Cleveland, bro, not really even thinking that none of this shit is possible. Not even knowing that YouTube was a thing until 2017. To be able to build a platform to where brands that I used to stand outside, like Foot Locker and Finish Line. I used to literally stand outside in the freezing cold. You know, Cleveland, bro, you get like 17 degrees. I would be waiting in the freezing cold for Jordans. And now, for them to send me packages with my name on it, it's mom going. But um, these, bro, the Kobe's, bro. These Kobe's I played in, Bleach Report invited me and a lot of other influencers y'all probably know, like August 28th, oh, I'm sorry, August 24th, that's 824, Kobe Day in LA. So I played in these shoes, for Kobe Day in LA. These are very special to me because Kobe was my guy. And also, you know what I'm saying, they gave us the Mamba Mentality book. So yeah, man, this is like a shelf where I keep like a lot of cool things to me. The first thing Reebok ever sent to me, um, you know what I'm saying, a lot of like hype beast pieces. Lyrical Lemonade, Lemonade. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all be seeing the videos, but who you can, I could actually pull up right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Jeremy, you got Lyrical Lemonade? I know you don't, nigga. I actually got it. Why is this tree still up? I really don't know why. The tree is naked, ain't no gifts on, ain't no gifts up under it. The lights ain't on. Like, how long do it really take black people to take down a Christmas tree, bro? Uh, I give them to the end of January. End of January? End of January. So I still got some grace right now. You're pushing it. Chat, right now, comment down below if you still have your Christmas tree up. And if it is, let me know when y'all used to take it down because this reminds me of something else. I was talking to my homie and I said, bro, is it true or not that white people have dinner at six o'clock? I'm just saying, bro. It, Jeremy, what time your family usually had dinner? Eight, nine? Yeah. Right, right, nine, eight? Yeah, about eight, about eight to 10, eight to 10. Maybe even 10. Yep. Bro, why white people be having dinner at 6.30, bro? Five o'clock. I, bro, I've been around people where they like, hey, I gotta go home for dinner and it was 4.30, bro. <laughs> Ain't that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, I don't, I don't get it. All right, now one of my favorite things about moving into this new spot is, of course y'all knew Upstairs is pretty much where I did all my streaming, gaming, and where I made like a lot of like my YouTube content for my sneaker channel, but, now we got a lot more space upstairs and y'all gonna be able to see the difference overnight, man. So come on upstairs, bro. Before you even get too far, you gotta see this. You know what I'm saying? Off limits, Tufo, Kobe rug. Listen, I ain't gonna sit here and say I'm a Kobe stand, but you know what I'm saying? Mama mentality is important to me, man. You know what I'm saying? So as we come upstairs, we can even start right here in the bathroom, bro. The bathroom, the last, bro, the last bathroom. I bro, you taking shit in the bathroom? Nah, that, bro, that shit. It's, it's streaks in there, Jeremy. 
You was the only nigga up here before we started recording. That's crazy. Bro. Chat, this is not set up. This nigga Jeremy that's, shit in here. Bro, that's Jeremy, crazy. that's disgusting. You've been watching me the whole time, Jeremy. bro. The whole time. You a sick nigga, bro. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sick. I'm sorry y'all even gotta witness this. You done. You done, all right? So the bathroom is a full bathroom. The last bathroom was like a half bath. It's a whole new shower right here. You know what I'm saying? You get a full shower. We get the whole bathroom upstairs. And that's cool, because I ain't trying to be running downstairs whenever I got to take the Browns to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? What? What's up, bro? Nah, that's, that's, that's a crazy, uh, that's a crazy uh, phrase. Never, Never heard that? I have, but just rare. Okay. Very rare. Well, you know I'm from Cleveland, so like that's what we say up top. Ah, I never pe I never put two and two you know together. What I'm saying? So that's it's more, it might be more common on my end. That's know. crazy. So on the wall, I try to put like stuff that kind of like inspire me up here because this is where I do like majority of my work. So right there, you can see a picture of Carmelo Anthony, which inspires me because I feel like he's one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Which reminds me every day, I feel like one of the most underrated content creators on YouTube. So if you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate it. 110,000 is what we chasing. But for real, um, I do be feeling underrated low key, man. I put a lot of time and effort into the content and it keep me going, bro. Just knowing that a lot of people still don't know who Snipe is. A lot of people still don't know who I am. A lot of people don't even know my name. Some niggas just be like, hey, you the dude that be with AMP. And I'm just like, damn, I gotta work harder. Right here, man, we get Michael Jordan, bro. You know what I'm saying? A painting of him crying when he got that when he got that sixth ring, I believe. That was his sixth ring or his third ring? I think that was his... I want to say... Man, I don't it know. It don't matter, don't. right? The, the, the purpose is that man had a goal. He finally accomplished that goal. And that's what it looked like when you accomplish your goals. So when I'm up here trying to accomplish my goals, I look at that to be like, damn, that's the finished product. Kobe's favorite word or favorite phrase is the work's not done yet. That's what it looked like when the work is done. So I want to be able to have that moment myself. You know what I'm saying? Right here you see Magic Johnson, Dennis Rodman when they was kids. You know what I'm saying? That just let a nigga be inspired. Of course, the late great Nipsey Hussle, um, one of my favorite rappers of all time. And you know what I'm saying? Um, the marathon continues. You know, every day I wake up and chase these dreams. Here is the next closet, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> it goes on. It goes on. We got Jordans. You know what I'm saying? You name it, bro. We got. Bread 11s, we got Jordan 3s, even the shoes up here in boxes, it is shoes in those boxes. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got we got heat, bro. We got Travis Scott's, we got off-whites, we got, even if I close the door, come inside, Jeremy. Come inside with me, bro. Even if I close the door, we still got a lot of stuff, man. If you don't think it's nothing in the boxes, what I got here? Another pair? Another snipe, you got two pair? You got two pair? Bow, nigga! Another pair! I, I am Gilbert Arenas 2.0. I know Chris Paul my favorite player. You know what I'm saying? I know Chris Paul my favorite player, but I hoop like Gil. Chris Paul my favorite player, but when I lace him up, nigga, I hoop like Gil. Slam Magazine Edition. You know when he was a Slam Magazine? 2007. Ask me how I know that. I'm an almanac, nigga. I know all of that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What we got here? What we got here? Bow, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Crispy, ain't even warm, nigga. Look at this, huh? Ah, you can oh do that when you never wear your shoes, bro. You can do it. Why? Oh my God. Why, <laughs> why I feel like I'm flexing like on MTV Cribs or something like that. It ain't that deep, Chad. I just do this shit for entertainment, bro. It ain't that deep. Licking your shoes now, bro? No, nah, I mean, I just, I just, I just did it. You a freak? <laughs> you a freak? You just, what's going on, bro? Hey, don't call me no damn freak, man. What's wrong with you? Especially in no closed environment, bro. I don't know what type of time you on, bro. Hey, hey. You a little spicy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Get me the hell up out bro, of this what? closet. Bro, bro. All right, man, so over here, bro, this is where I do a lot of the editing. Also, where I play a lot of, like, Apex Legends. Now, I'm not the best at Apex Legends, but I enjoy playing it. I enjoy dying often. I die a lot. I die more times than I live, but that's why I love the game. Apex is one of those games to me where I can literally win no games for two hours and still have the time of my life. That's my type of game, because I suck. <laughs> so, um, I got a... Xbox, also have PlayStation, and of course you see my PC here. I got the dual monitor set up, man. I got the, uh, I do my reaction share. If anybody watched my reaction channel, if you don't know, I have a reaction channel. I react to a lot of NBA stuff. I'll link that down below, but I told y'all niggas, I be working, man. It, Jeremy, why don't they believe I work, bro? Reaction channel, IRL channel, sneaker channel, and I drop consistently, bro. They don't even know where I really be 
I really be, you feel me? I really be. But yeah, though, man, so this is where I do that content. And then here, obviously, as you can see, where I do my sneaker content. So I got the Ikea wall set up. You know, I'm pretty sure if y'all watch my videos, the same setup, I just kind of moved it. Um, right here is where I sit down. I do my videos. I got my boom mic over the top so y'all can hear my audio clearly. Right here is a Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Phantom. I just dropped a video on this, I think on uh, TikTok. And I dropped a video on my YouTube shorts on my sneaker channel. So I literally just wrapped this up so I ain't put this, put this away. What you, what you think about these, Jeremy? Fire. Fire? Fire. Yeah. I Fire. feel like all black Air Force Ones is intimidating, but I feel like I can surprise a nigga with these. My intentions is the same. I'm still trying to run down on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Catch him lacking, you feel me? Catch a nigga slipping like a bad transmission, you feel me? But like, if I wear these, it's like less subtle. They be like, he ain't really on that. He ain't really in the trenches like that, but guess what? These, I ain't wear these yet either. That, that, I can do that here too though. You, you, you are a, a major freak, bro. You lick one more bottom of your shoe, bro, and I'm out of here. Bro, I ain't with you. I don't give a damn if you, if you. Right, fine, bro, fine. You lick one more soul, you hear me? Fine, bro. You got one more time. Fine, bro. You Come on, man, Chris Paul Funko Pop, because he's the GOAT. Also got the Chris Paul autograph ball up top. Ask me why I got the Chris Paul autograph ball up top. Why you got it? Because he's the GOAT, nigga. Right there, what'd that say? What'd that say? Christopher Emmanuel Paul, Two Snipe Jones, my favorite content creator. You can't even see that because he wrote in cursive and half y'all niggas can't read in cursive because y'all was born in 2000. <laughs> you know, they stopped teaching cursive in 2000. Y'all niggas don't even know what cursive is. No. So that pretty much say to Sniper Jones, my favorite content creator who has three channels in Thriving. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, that's, I don't look like enough letters to say all that, my brother. Shut your ass up, Jeremy. That's what it say. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right, cool. All right, man. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also got, what's this? What's this? Bow, nigga. Autograph Chris Paul shoe. Okay? Y'all thought it was a game? Y'all thought I just said I was a fan? I'm really locked in, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. Two Sniper Jones, aka Young Snipe, King of the South. No T.I. That's what it say on the toe of the box. That's what it say right here. This is a Jordan brand CP3. And for y'all who think, you know what I'm saying, I'm out here flexing and finessing, I can also go inside this box. What this say? Certificate of Authenticity, okay? Chris Paul signed NBA Orange Basketball. So, so that's, that's for the basketball. But I also got one for the, hold on. Y'all think, think it's a game. Bro. Another certificate. NBA Chris Paul signed red CP3 shoe. Single. Bow. I got the certificates, nigga. I'm really like that. So when I say Chris Paul a GOAT, understand that I'm coming from a place of like, I'm really on that. I'm really on that. And when y'all say, oh, Chris Paul, he ain't got a ring, he ain't got a ring, nigga, you can eat it. You gonna, you gonna lick the bottom of that shoe too, huh? You freak, huh? Huh? Cause uh, I ain't never wear these either, uh, nigga. I, that, I ain't never uh, wear these either. Uh, all right, okay. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm out of here. I'm like that.